Good morning. It is Sunday morning, October 16th, just after 10 a.m. I am editing video this morning, trying to get that done so I don't have to do it tomorrow. Um, my daughter and sister will be here in about an hour. They're going to pick me up and we're going to go outlet shopping, I guess, and have lunch kind of thing. Um, that ought to be fun. Leslie made it home safely yesterday. Cool. Um, and I got the house all cut up yesterday. I said that in last week's vlog. I got all the chores done. I got the beds remade. I got, yeah, it's all done. Shocking, but there you have it. I still have some upcoming projects there to do. Gotta work on that. But first we're gonna get the editing done and go spend some time with family because that's important. All right. It is 12 noon straight up. I just let it, just as I turned the phone on. It is Monday, October 17th, I think. I wanna say August, it's not August. Um, we are headed over to Dollar Tree really quick. I wasn't gonna really go anywhere today, but I'm working on maybe a new kind of project related to an old kind of project. I'm not gonna say more because I'm probably gonna film some of it once I work the bugs out. Of course, I'll share said bugs, but anyway. Um, but I need some pieces and parts from Dollar Tree, so I'm gonna go do that. The house is nice and quiet today. Not that we haven't enjoyed having people over, we have. Um, but I have all of my Monday editing I got done yesterday. The computer's currently loading said edited videos and scheduling them out for the next couple of weeks. I have to film Artsy Trio either today or tomorrow. Um, I have to figure out what I'm gonna do first. So there's that. I also have a bunch of stickers I need to cut out still. First, I'm gonna go do this. Okay. Uh, I am set up to film Artsy Trio tomorrow. Um, I'm set up for my new project when more parts come in. That's all you're gonna see on that. I'm also set up to continue a little bit more work on this. I do think I wanna leave it abstracted, rainbow inspired. Um, it is dry and very textured, which I love, but I need to unmuddy some of the colors. So I will either work down to just touching the green or up to just touching the yellow and then stop so that these two colors don't mix together and might get weird. You don't get any purple up here. And yeah, anyway, so I'll be working on that this week. But I think for the day, for today, I think I'm done. I think so, maybe. Oh, I do have to sign this one, this one. And I do know what I'm gonna call it. And so I'm gonna write that on the back and I probably should dig this stuff out and set it in a corner and put a clear coat on it and that way it can just dry. So let me do that, I'll be right back. It is just after 10 a.m. Tuesday, October 18th. My neighbor, our neighbors behind us, you can't see because of the glare. Um, they're getting a new roof, so they started pretty early. Um, they got all the shingles ripped off, now they're starting to, I think, put the new roof on. They're starting with the paper underneath. Um, they better hurry up because we're supposed to get rain starting Friday for probably at least two weeks, like everyday rain, normal for Oregon, a little later than normal, but anyway. Um, so they're rapidly trying to get the roof back on. I was thinking all day yesterday that this week was kind of quiet, except for counseling, except that I don't have counseling this week, it's next week. Also a quiet week, but yay. All right, anyway, my tattoo, which I got on Friday with Leslie, is I can tell starting to be scabby and um, itchy when I don't have it moisturized, which is a good sign because that means it's healing. But yeah, it's driving me a little batty. Anyway, I'm gonna clean up a little bit in the kitchen and then we're gonna go upstairs because I have got to film RT Trio. I still haven't done it yet because I was trying to think of something else other than what is just constantly 
occupying my mind and I think we just have to go with what's up here because it's what's there. I also have to create the next mood board, so. <sighs> All right, I'll be back. Hey. So I spent the afternoon, I have no idea what time it is, um, making some watercolor paints out of things I've collected over the years, including a couple things that are special to me. Um, red lava rock from Nevada on a trip with my husband and dried red rose petals from my grandmother's funeral. Um, Grandma Jenny was a wonderful human being and the best grandmother on the planet, my dad's mom. And uh, yeah, I forgot I had them until I started collecting things to do this with. And the rose petals have it's not dry yet and this is fresh and I'm going, but I mean, look at that reddish purple color. I'm going to let these, they're all still pretty fresh. I'm gonna let them dry down completely. Then I'm gonna re-wet them and see what, if there's any change in the color that we're gonna get because I literally just made them. Also, I had red onion and after I mixed it with the watercolor medium and mold it, that's not the color I expected, but cool. Um, you will notice that there are some um, things like the turmeric, pretty smooth paint, but then the other ones, there's organic bits in it. The organics are really hard to get smooth. Um, I think I did a pretty good job for a first timer, but anyway, um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I'm going to keep some of the pigments in the powder form, which is why they're like this and labeled, because they also can be added to acrylic medium or acrylic... Um, binder for lack of a better word so you hold on i've got paint all over my phone okay so if you have any kind of acrylic medium like matte medium gloss medium pouring medium you could add any of these to that medium to tint it and attach it to a piece of artwork so i can see gathering some organics to use in my art in fact there's somebody i found on youtube who does this with sand and dirt and if I can find her video, I'll link it below for you. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna clean up now and figure out what time it is. I'll be back. It's five o'clock. Morning, everybody. Yes, my hair is in a wrap. My sister talked me into trying one of these. Um, she has naturally curly hair since she was little. Her hair, her gray, I've talked about this before, her grays are coming in straight. When I was little, my hair was fairly straight and grays are coming in curly. Anyway, she said, try one of these when you on days when you do wash your hair dry it in one of these and it will help your curl. She's not wrong, it's been helping a lot. So anyway, sorry for the head wrap. Um, I just got my first uh, video done for the paint pen company. I am gonna try at least one more, probably two more experiments. Also my homemade paints are drying down. Um, so far they are holding their pigment um, and they are still the colors that they were last night. Um, my concern is that they don't re-wet very easily, but I mean, we'll see it once they completely dry out. Um, I also probably could have mold a few of them smoother than I did, but I don't mind the botanical chunks, but I mean, we'll see. Anyway, I'm kind of wanting to make a display of found pigments here somewhere. Here somewhere, I know, right? I'm gonna have to work on that. All right, I'll be back.
nothing like playing Jenga with the small bits bank. Uh, I thought for a minute I was going to have to get rid of some stuff, but I didn't. I found a way to make it work. These paper pads are like the bane of my existence. Well, I mean, I have a lot of stuff, but I never know where to put them exactly. Anyway, I can't, if I put them away, then I'll never use them because I'll forget I have them, so they have to stay out. But I was able to make room for the powdered, found powdered pigments. Yay. And I reorganized a few things to do that which was my main goal. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I think it's time for lunch now though. I'll be back. a lot done today. I went out and got some more rocks and washed them. Shh, don't tell Mr. Bob they were Miss Garden. Anyway, we did that. I have a wood rainbow that's drying. I'm going to do a video on that. Stay tuned to the channel. Um, I did the upper half, the warm half of this with a second coat of paint. We're going to let that dry before we do the cool half because we don't want mud in the middle, right? Okay. Um, cause yeah, the yellow and the green and the blues and the purple, that'll just make a muddy mess. Um, okay. I got to turn some lights off. I've got to put some stuff away. I can't believe we got the small bits bank figured out. That's like amazing. You guys don't know how big that is. And I'm super pleased with our found pigments. I mean, cool, right? I, I, yeah. This is something I'm going to really enjoy. Yes, I'm going to be doing a video on it, how I did it, why I did it, what's in here and why, that sort of thing. I will. It will be a video series, but I needed to get it straight in my own mind and figure out what I was doing before I do that. And I want to let these dry completely and then try re-wetting them and make sure that's going to work before I film anything. So it'll be a few days. All right. I'm going to turn things off up here for now. This desk over here has stuff drying on it. This down here has stuff drying on it. The painting is drying. The rocks are drying. The gessoed rainbow is dry. Like everything is drying. So I need to just get out of its way and go do something else. I'll be back. Yes, it is just about 11 o'clock. Yes, my hair is still wet. Yes, I just got my day going, but you know. Um, I am trying yet another pigment experiment before I film the video. I did have some leftover onion water, so I am trying an experiment um, 
to pull the pigment out of said water. I don't know if it's gonna work. We're trying it before again before I film anything. I thought I was gonna to have to buy some special ingredients for it. That's why I didn't do it before now. Turns out, don't need to. I had everything, so um, yeah. I think now we're gonna play with the paint pens I was sent again and film some of that. I also wanna grind up some more of the rose petals and moss um, and add those to the jars because if this onion water thing works, I might wanna try that with those too. And, and the onion water is coming out very green, just FYI. Red onions, but it's green. All right, that's it for the minute. I need some bone broth or something, and then I, I need to play. I'll be yeah. back. The organization hoard closet. Those three shelves are still pretty full, mm -hmm. and yet, all that came out of there oh, so. and it has to go. Okay. Saturday morning, uh, October 22nd, 9.48 a.m. Bob's taking a shower. I think I have to do my hair again because that looks a little bit too messy even for me. Um, we need to go for a W-A-L-K with crazy pants. And then we have a bunch of errands to run. It's going to be a long day because... The kids don't get in from California until like 11 o'clock tonight. So, <sighs> all right, let's get to it, shall we? I'll be back. Okay, headed out for a walk before we go run some errands. So hopefully Crazy Pants works off some excess energy as she naps in her crate while we're gone. Hopefully. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but one can only hope, right? All right. Yeah, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Sunday morning and guess what I forgot to do last night? That's right, close the vlog again. <laughs> it was just a busy, crazy day between errands and dog sitting and picking the kids up at the airport. Their flight came in very late, later than expected. And by the time all was said and done, it was like 12.30 at night. Yeah, it's no wonder I forgot to vlog. Anyway, um, our, I guess call, it's called a lake pigment when you're making pigment from a water bath dye situation. Anyway, it's still drying. It'll be a few days, uh, but that's for the next vlog. Anyway, it's been a fun week. We got a lot done this week. I'm very happy about that. And it's been a creative week again. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I hope you have too. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I sure would appreciate that. If you want to support the free content here on YouTube, I do have a Patreon. I've got an Etsy shop. All that stuff is linked down below. Some of it's in my link tree list of links. Anyway, check it out. All right. I'm going to get on with my day and start the next vlog because, you know. Anyway, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Thank you.